Crossrail 2 should be one of Boris Johnson's top infrastructure priorities and get a funding commitment this year, according to a key government infrastructure advisor. The National Infrastructure Commission released its annual report today, saying the £41 billion North South train line should immediately get the go ahead. Read more. Crossrail 2 may already be facing delays, says Sadiq Khan. The project is under a cloud of uncertainty due to problems with Crossrail 1. It is expected to open three years late and be more than £3 billion over budget, and an increasing push by the government for more infrastructure spending in the Midlands and the North. However, the Infrastructure Commission's chairman Sir John Armit said that Crossrail 2 needs to go ahead as a matter of priority to prevent overcrowding on London's transport networks. The UK desperately needs a strategy that looks well beyond this parliament, setting out infrastructure policy and funding up to 2050, he said. It must contain goals, plans to achieve them, funding to deliver those plans and deadlines for delivery. The government's key priorities for 2020 should include confirming its plans to go ahead with Crossrail 2 and committing to fund it in the Spending Review 2020. Johnson promised to spend £100 billion on infrastructure in his election manifesto. However this has so far been all earmarked on projects to level up the North. The business plan for Crossrail 2 is currently under consideration with the Department for Transport, however there has been no indication from the government if it will go ahead. The latest proposal for the North-South Tube line would have it span from Broxbourne to Epsom and have stops in places such as Tottenham Hale, Dawson, Angel, St Pancras, Clapham Junction and Wimbledon. The report said that this line would alleviate significant challenges for London's transport network currently being faced. Red Moore, Crossrail boss says he will do without a bonus. London's population grew by 240,000 between 2015 and 2018, contributing to increasing levels of overcrowding on the tube lines. It was revealed in November that the four busiest tube lines, Northern, Jubilee, Central and Victoria, Run at over 100% capacity at peak hour times. For more on this story, visit the news article link.